Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to another episode of Lunch with Lisa. I am Lisa Warner. I am the author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing. Today I wanted to talk about moving into the new earth. We are in the midst of a massive shift of consciousness. Humanity is moving from the third dimension to a brand new territory, new neighborhood, the fifth dimension. So what does that mean? It means that there is a shift of consciousness that is happening. It is a shift of perspective. And this shift of perspective is a shift that allows us to move away. Hi, Brenda, thanks for joining me. It is a shift that will allow us to move away from the confines of limitation, disease, poverty, war. Inside that third dimension, we as humanity have been living in fight or flight mode for eons. And now, as we move into this this shift of consciousness. We are moving into a higher bandwidth, into this fifth dimension of peace and ease and joy and unity. We are leaving the old hell on earth behind where everything's been a battle. Everything has been a struggle. We've been in the struggle to survive, survival of the fittest, fighting diseases, fighting each other, fighting all kinds of things, fighting crime, fighting poverty. It's time to end the fighting. Why? Because fighting doesn't create well-being. We do not live well when we're fighting, when we're fighting with anything. So one of the biggest things that we have to let go of the fighting is the battling with diseases, battling with cancer, battling with COVID, battling with any disease you want to name. We have to start looking at our bodies from a different perspective. Inside that third dimension, we, we forget who we are. Hey, Michelle. We forget that we are the infinite beings. We forget that we are grand beings of light. When we hop into these physical bodies, we, we identify as the physical body and the physical body seems like it's a limitation. It seems like it's a vulnerability. It seems like it's a really little body in a great big world. So we feel like we're small. We feel like we're a victim of, of circumstance. We feel like we have to try to struggle to survive, that we have to try to fit ourselves in somehow, but we never quite get it totally figured out. And so we're always struggling in some way or another for the majority of humanity. There are some that I know that they really very, have very, very few struggles. But those people are very few and far between. So when we are struggling with our health, that is the struggle that is closest to home. It's the struggle that we can't get away from. But it's a struggle that we don't need to have. It is We do not need to struggle with our bodies. Why? Because these bodies are amazing. These bodies are incredible, shape-shifting, self-healing, self-regenerating, self-rejuvenating, biological machines. They are incredibly resilient. These bodies can take a beating. <laughs> we can fall down. We can break bones. We can do all kinds of things and beat up our bodies. And they heal themselves. And they are designed to heal themselves. And they are designed to last for hundreds of years. Back in biblical times, people lived for four, five, six hundred years. Those accounts are, are written in the Bible. They're not just, they're, they're based on real things. People who are able to regenerate their bodies for extended periods of time. 
That's our bodies have that ability. But they don't have that ability when we don't believe that they do, when we don't understand that ability. When we look around the planet and we see that people are being attacked by, hey, Carol, thanks for joining. People are being attacked by cancer and COVID and and multiple sclerosis and all different types of diseases. And we look out and we say, well, that's what's actually happening. We have to fight all of these diseases. Well, on the surface, it appears that way. It appears that that is exactly what's going on. But at one point it appeared that the sun, the moon and the stars circled around the earth because they rose in the east and set in the west and circled around and did it again the next day and the day after that. On the surface, it appeared, it seemed obvious that the earth was in the middle and that these bodies were rotating around the earth until somebody came along and said, wait a minute, I don't think that's right. And Copernicus did all kinds of experiments and plotted everything out, mapped it all out over a period of, of, of years until he could see a bigger picture. Then it became completely obvious to him that the earth is circling around the sun and it's not the other way around. But he, at that time, he was the conspiracy theorist. He was the one that was rejected. He was the outcast. He was the crazy one. So at that time, the overriding science said that the, the sun circled around the earth. But now we all know that that was backwards. That's not true. And what's, we are going through something similar right now with our bodies. What appears to be obvious, it appears that our bodies are being attacked by diseases and microorganisms. We've come to find out through valid scientific research that that is not actually true. It's not what's happening to our bodies. I wrote this book, The Simplicity of Self-Healing. After I healed my body without any medical intervention whatsoever, I just I realized that my body was out of balance because I had been out of balance. I had been struggling with all kinds of things in my life. And one of the biggest things was the feeling of rejection, feeling like I'm, I don't fit in, feeling like I'm not good enough. And that was a real problem for a long time. And that problem showed up in my physical body. And all of a sudden, there I was. I had gone from the healthy, fit athlete to waking up in an in a, in a anxiety panic going, oh my God, I'm being attacked by cancer. Every day, this cancer thing was all over me. I couldn't get rid of it, like stink on a skunk. Like, man, I just couldn't get away from it. But I knew that it was coming because of my emotional imbalance. And I knew that I was not gonna find emotional balance in chemo or radiation. It simply wasn't gonna happen for me. And I'm not denying, I'm not, um, I'm not saying that that's not the right path for anybody else. It was not the right path for me. So I knew that I had to rebalance myself. I knew that this was my call to action. This was my call to mastery. It was my time that I became master of my own body so that I could recognize what was actually going on with my body. So instead of going the medical route, I went the meditation route. Every day I sat and I meditated and I asked for guidance. I asked to be shown, how am I going to fix this? What do I need to know? And I sat there long enough until finally, bang, this massive download of information, this clarity came in a flash and it became completely obvious to me in that moment that my body wasn't being attacked by cancer that my body was sending me the message going, hey, Lisa, you got this thing going on that you haven't dealt with. You've got these emotions happening. They're, they're not true for you. And when you make peace with these, these emotions and you neutralize all of this garbage that's going on in your head that's not true, your body will heal itself. 
And that's exactly what happened. As soon as I realized that my body wasn't being attacked by anything, that my body was sending me a message, I opened up and I said, bring it on, bring the message. Let me hear the message so that I can let it all go. And then I can trust my body to do what it does best. I can then trust my body to heal itself. I grew up as a healthy, fit athlete. I never had to worry about my body. I never had to worry about my health. Yeah, I would get a cold or I would get the flu or something, but it lasted a few days and I was done and I went on. Like I knew that my body would heal. I knew that I would recover. I never worried that, oh my gosh, I have a cold. I might die. I didn't worry about that. I trusted my body and my body served me incredibly well. I was an elite performer with figure skating. I could jump and spin and twirl and fly across the ice like nobody's business with this body. I trusted this body until I stopped trusting myself. And then my cells started to respond and went, hey, Lisa, you're out of balance. You're out of trust with yourself. You're doubting yourself. You're not seeing your own inner brilliance. You're saying that you don't fit in, that you're not worthy, that you're not good enough. None of that is true. Let go of all that garbage. And as soon as I started letting go and I started trusting my body, my body just simply healed itself. And that's what is every single person is capable because every single body is designed to heal themselves. Everybody, every time. Our bodies are following our, our emotions. We have to get rid of this idea that our bodies are being attacked by anyone or anything. <laughs> when we believe that our bodies are being attacked by a killer anything, we live out the experience of being attacked by some killer. Whether it's a killer disease or a killer virus, it doesn't matter. When we believe that, we live out that experience. When I believed that my body was being attacked by cancer, that was my entire experience. That became my entire world until I was able to flip that world on its head. And that world dissolved overnight. And my body came back into balance quickly, easily, effortlessly, with no work on my part. All I had to do was get out of its way. So as we go through this shift of consciousness, we are moving from this third dimensional bandwidth where everything is fight or flight and we're in constant battle mode. And we're living in fear and anger and frustration and grief and doubt and guilt and shame and blame and all of these negative patterns. They all exist only inside that third dimensional bandwidth. But we are leaving that cage. We are leaving that prison. We are moving into peace and ease and harmony on the new earth. We are bringing heaven to earth through our bodies. But we have to let go of disease. We have to let go of that idea that our bodies are being attacked because it's not true. It's not even valid science. We have to realize that we are not these bodies. We are the infinite being in the bodies. We are the higher self. We are the soul. We are the non-physical being in the physical body. The body is just the vehicle. It's the car that we're driving. When we recognize that we are not these limited humans, we are the unlimited soul and we start operating as the higher version of ourselves, the part of ourself that is in harmony with the universe and the universal laws. When we start to understand how the universe works and we work with the universal laws, then we stop working against ourselves. We start understanding that everything in our own experience is coming from within. Everything is coming from how we perceive. It's coming from what we believe about ourselves and about our lives. It's coming from the energies inside. Fear, blame, doubt, shame, guilt, envy, all of these energies. These are vast energy fields. Fear is a vast electromagnetic morphogenic field of energy. 
And when we have that energy in our personal energy space, that energy takes form in our reality. We have to start looking at the energies that are generating our physical reality. Cancer is generated by a specific energy. We have to look at that. Lung cancer is developed from the, the energy of fear. My cancer was developed from in my internal parts, from the energies of self-doubt, self-deprecation, feeling not enough, not good enough, feeling rejected and abandoned. Those energies took the form of cancer in my body. The feelings of not of not being fast enough or strong enough that can come in as arthritis in the knees. Feeling of this life is too much to bear that can show up as like arthritis or bursitis in the hips. Just many different scenarios. Our bodies are designed to reflect our emotional states. That's all that happens to our bodies ever. So when we stop looking at our bodies as being attacked, then we stop being the victim. And we can start to look at the energies that are running rampant in our reality, making us feel not good enough, guilty, ashamed, angry, fearful. All of those energies are easily transmuted. So in order for us to move into this heaven on earth, into the new earth, we have to leave disease behind. We have to get out of that consciousness. We have to start looking at our bodies from a different perspective. So I hope this has been per helpful to you. If you, anybody is watching and you have any questions, feel free to pop them in the live chat. I'd be more than happy to answer. But it is really imperative that we start looking at the energies. We are here to clear the fear, the doubts, the guilts, the shames, not allow them to swallow us up. We are here to transmute fear, not get imprisoned by it. So let's start to look at our bodies as our best friends. Our bodies are here to help us survive. They're not being attacked. Let's start to look and see what's really going on so we can leave all of this behind. As we move into this fifth dimensional new earth, there is no disease on the new earth. It does not belong there. It is a construct of the third dimension. So can you imagine a completely disease-free planet? A planet that is living in peace, in ease, in harmony, in sharing, in caring, in kindness. That's where we're going. Keep your eye on the prize. Look at where we're heading. Start operating as the higher version of yourself, the self that already lives in peace and ease and harmony. All of the old stuff is falling away. All of the battle mode is being left behind. We're just in that cocoon phase. We're moving from the caterpillar to the butterfly. The cocoon, it's messy. It's gooey. <laughs> nothing appear, Nothing is as it appears to be in the cocoon. We're not the caterpillar. We're not the butterfly. It's just kind of a gooey mess. That's where we are right now but we are moving into this new earth. We are moving into the higher self. We are moving into the higher dimensional aspects of ourself. Our bodies are designed to heal themselves. It's time to start trusting our bodies. So if you're ready to start trusting your body, if you would like to leave the old disease paradigm behind, this is my specialty. I'm here to help you. So if you need assistance in leaving that disease consciousness behind and stepping into your well-being consciousness so you can trust your body and you can allow your body to simply heal itself, so you can free yourself from these the healthcare system, all of these systems that are designed to keep us fighting 
the symptoms in our bodies. It's time to let go of the fighting. When you're ready to let go of the fighting and live in just simple well-being, please reach out. I'm more than happy to help. You can find me at my website, connectingyoutoyou.com. I am on LinkedIn. And here on Facebook, I have a, a private group called Soul Sourced Healing. You're all welcome to join if you are still on Facebook. <laughs> so um, I'm happy to have you join my group. My book is called The Simplicity of Self-Healing. You can find that on Amazon.com. So thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for everybody that watches me on YouTube. I am on YouTube at Soul Sourced Healing with Lisa Warner. So until next week, thank you for joining me for another episode of Lunch with Lisa, and we will see you next week. Until then, create for yourselves a great week. Bye for now.